Hi all you survivors out there, Zensei here, and in this edition of Dojo, I'll be talking about all the weapons in Valheim, including shields and some tools. Now this was going to be a short video, but quickly became a lot more. I have researched a lot for this and I hope it shows. I have timestamps to make it easier to find the types of weapons you're looking for. Now if you do like this showcase, please don't forget to hit that like button. And I'll be doing more in-depth videos like this in the future. So for more like this, consider subscribing. And now, let's get to it. And first up we have swords. First sword is the bronze sword. With a slash of 35 and parry force of 20, needing a forge for creation. Next up we have the iron sword. With a slash of 55 and parry force of 20, needing a forge level 2 for creation. Alright, now we have the black metal sword. With a slash damage of 95 and parry force of 20, needing a level 4 forge for creation. Now we have the silver sword. This has a slash of 75 with a parry force of 20. Next, we have the Diron Sword. No crafting materials are available at this point. This has a slash damage of 55 with a fire damage of 30. And this sword just looks amazing. Now, axes. First axe is the Stone Axe. With a slash damage of 15 and a parry force of 20. You only need the workbench to craft this. Next axe is the flint axe. You only need the workbench to craft this item. It has a slash damage of 20 with also a parry force of 20. Next axe is the bronze axe. You need a forge level 1 to create this item. It is a slash damage of 35 and a parry force of 20. Next up, the iron axe. You need a forge level 2 to craft this axe. It has a slash damage of 55 with a parry force of 20. Next, we have the black metal axe. You need a forge level 4 to create this axe. It has a slash damage of 95 with zero parry force. Next up, bows and arrows. First bow is the crude bow. Needing the workbench level 1 to create. It has a pierce force of 22 with zero parry force. Next, we have the Fine Bow. Again, level 1 workbench to create with a pierce force of 32 and a block power of 5. Next up is the Huntsman's Bow. You will need the Forge level 1 to create this item. It has a pierce force of 42 with a block power of 5. And finally, the Druger Fang. You need the Forge level 2 to create this item. It has a Pierce Force of 47 and a Block Power of 5. Alright, now onto the arrows. We have the Wood Arrow, Bronze Arrow, Flint Arrow, 
Fire arrow? Iron head arrow? Silver arrow? Needle arrow? Poison arrow? Listen. Obsidian arrow? And finally, frost arrow. Now on to knives. The first knife is the flint knife. You only need the workbench to create this knife. With a slash of 6, pierce of 6, block 5, and parry force 10. Next is the copper knife. You need the forge to create this. With a slash of 9, pierce 9, block power 8, and parry force 10. Next is the abysal razor. You need the forge level 5 to create this, with a slash of 12, pierce 12, block power 10, and parry force 10. The next knife is the black metal knife. You need the forge level 4 to create this one, with a slash of 18, pierce 18, block 15, and parry force 10. Next up, we have spears. First spear is the abysal harpoon. You need a workbench to craft this item with a PS10 and block power 10. Next spear is the flint spear. You need the workbench to craft this item with a PS20 and block power 10. Next spear is the bronze spear. You need the forge to craft it with a PS35 and block power 10. Next one is the Ancient Bark Spear. You need the forge to craft this with the PS55 and block power 10 again. Next is the Fang Spear. You need the forge to craft this item with a PS70 and of course block power 10 again. Now onto pickaxes. And first, the antler pickaxe. You need the workbench to craft this with the PS18, block power 10, and parry force 20. Next pickaxe is the bronze pickaxe. You need the forge level 1 to craft this with the PS25, block power 10, and parry 20. Next is the iron pickaxe. You need the forge level 2 to craft it with the PS33, block 10, and parry force 20. Now onto clubs. First is the normal club. You need the workbench to craft this item with a blunt force of 12, block bow 10, and parry force 20. Next is the torch. Next is the bronze mace. You craft this in the forge with blunt force 30, block power 10, and parry force 30. Next is the iron mace. You need the forge to craft this with a blunt hit of 35, block power 10, and parry force 30. Next up is the stag breaker. You need a workbench level 2 to craft this item with a blunt force 20, PS5, block power 15, and parry 50. Now, we have the iron sledge. You need the forge level 2 with a blunt force of 55, block power 15, and parry force 50. Next up is the porcupine. You needed the forge to craft this item. It has a blunt power of 50, PS45, block 20, and parry force 30. Next up is frost near. You need the forge to craft this with a blunt hit force of 35, frost 40, sprint 20, block power 10, and parry force 30. And now, pole arms. First is the bronze at gear. You need the forge to craft this item with a PS45, block 10, and parry force 40. Next is the iron ad gear. 
you need the forge to craft this with the Pierce 65, Block 10, and Parry Force 40. Next pole arm is the black metal at gear. You need the forge to craft it with the Pierce 105, Block Power 10, and Parry Force 40. And finally, shields. First up is the wood shield. You just need the workbench to craft this with both block power and parry force 20. Next up is the bronze buckler. You need the forge to craft this item, 45 blocking power and 30 parry force. Next up is the bandage shield. You need the forge to craft this item, block power 60 and parry force 40. Next up is the silver shield. You need the forge level 3 to craft this with block power 70, parry force 40. Next up is the iron tower shield. You need the forge level 2 to craft this and block power 75. Now we have the serpent scale shield. Needing a forge level 3 to craft and block power 90. Now we have the black metal shield. You need a forge level 3 to craft this, block power 90, and parry force 50. And the final shield is the black metal tower. Which you need the forge to craft, and 105 blocking power. And that's all the weapons in Valheim. I hope you enjoyed this video, it took me ages to make, and as you can see, a lot of research went into it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It helps out a lot. For more videos like this, consider subscribing. I'll be putting more in-depth videos like this up very soon. And of course, thank you for watching. That's all from me, Zensei out.